Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 22nd tutorial in this course. And in this tutorial, we are going to talk about the continue statement in Python. And uh, the continue statement lets us pass a block of code or skip an iteration of a loop, right? So unlike the break statement in which, you know, when the break statement is executed, you completely get out of the loop. What happens when you encounter a continue statement is you skip the rest of the code in that iteration and then you get back to, you know, testing the condition for your loop and uh, you know you see if you want to proceed further with the iterations or not so break completely completely gets you out of a loop whereas continue lets you skip an iteration right so we're going to make a very simple program as uh, you know we did in the case of uh, break you know we're going to make a similar program in fact so we're going to use a for loop here and uh, the variable for my for loop i'm going to call it bad and i'll use the range function to make the variable uh, loop from one to 15 right so the upper limit is going to be 16 and uh, I'll put my colon and uh, you know if I do not use the continue statement and if I simply use the print function to display the value of uh, you know the variable let me save the file and when I run it I see you know numbers from 1 to 15 on the screen now let's say I want to you know skip a few iterations that is I do not want to display numbers uh, between 13 and uh, you know let's say 13 and uh, 9 right so if I want to skip those iterations and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an if statement in my loop and I'm going to check you know if uh, var uh, is in the range uh, 9 to 14 is going to be the upper limit if I want to check whether the number is between 9 and 13 right so if I want to skip iterations when the value of the variable is between 9 to 13, the upper limit for the range function is going to be you know, 14, right? So if that is the case, then what we're going to do is we are going to type in the keyword continue here, right? And uh, if that is not the case, then uh, we are going to have an else block and that is when we will display the value of uh, the variable on screen. Right, so let me save this file and when I run it now, I see that I get numbers from 1 to 8 and then numbers from 9 to 13 are skipped because of the continue statement and then I see numbers 14 and 15. Right, so that's what the continue statement is used for in uh, you know, any programming language. In Python, this is a syntax. You, know, you don't have to put in a semicolon after the keyword, you don't have to do anything else. You just type in the keyword simply and it just has been able to break. We're going to check out another example of the continue statement just to you know emphasize things properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter a string uh, of text and then we are going to remove all the space characters you know from that string and we will display all the characters individually except the you know uh, space characters, right? So obviously you know let's display a message using the print function to instruct the user what it is supposed to do. So I simply display enter a string that's uh, you know comprehensive enough and then on the next line I'll use the input function to you know get the user input and I'll store it in the variable var. I'll use the for loop to iterate over the characters in the string. So you know I'm going to use letter as my dummy variable, the in operator, and then I'll simply type in a variable that holds the string, which in this case is var. I put in a colon to get inside the body of for, and then I'll use the if statement to check whether you know the character encountered and the character you know stored in the variable letter if that is equal to a space right so between two single quotes i have a space character and if that is the case then we want to continue and if that's not the case then we are going to use the else uh, you know block to have a print statement to you know, display the value that's there in the variable letter so i save this file when I run the program, I see the message entering string. So, you know, if I type in something like uh, hello world, which has one space character, if I press the enter key, I see H E L L O and then I see world. So, the space character between you know, the uh, O of hello and the W of world is missing, that's not displayed, right? So, that character was present in the string, but since uh, we've used the continue statement to not print that character you know, because the if block is going to 
you know, execute and this condition is going to value to two for the space character and that's why we're going to continue. We're going to go to the next iteration with the, the value W for the variable letter and you know, we're going to proceed with the program. So I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one in which we'll uh, discuss something interesting again and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.